Hello, today I'm going to be testing a virus, antivirus. It is uh, April 2nd, 2010. I'm going to start by installing it. Uh, I'm going to be testing it against zero day viruses using a uh, malware domain list. And I'm just interested in seeing how it uh, performs. So, whenever it finishes installing, I'll be right back. I am going to be installing the default setup. No changes made, just the standard installation. No changes. I'll be right back. Alright, so we've just finished. Uh, I'm going to open it up and uh, do an update because it's at a date according to Windows. So, um, looks like it's actually doing the update as we speak. While it's doing that, I'm going to take a look at the footprint, see, uh, see how it is on the system, see if it's eaten up a lot of memory. Um, it is doing an update, so I will test it after. Um, yeah, I don't feel this will be accurate because uh, we are doing an update. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait until it finishes these update. Um, I'm also going to be uh, testing this uh, Avira against uh, Komodo. It's also a free uh, product that you can use. It's Komodo Internet Security free version. So, uh, I mean, you know, pennies against pennies. Avira is free. Komodo is free. Let's see uh, which one does better, but um, I'm going to be testing this one solely. I haven't tested this one before, so I want to see how it does. So I'll be right back once this finishes installing. Alright, so it's just finished the update. So everything is good there. I'm just going to double check that it is completely up to date. Uh, I'm not too sure where to go to check for updates. So there it is. So... Looks like it's trying to do a full system scan. I'm not going to do a full system scan. It is a clean system. Um, I do all my tests with a clean system. They're all the same systems on all the tests. Um, I duplicate the every test. So um, I do find it is a little bit slow right now. I just canceled the update. So. Alright. That should complete soon. So, uh, I'm going to double check the update again. And just be sure. I just want to be sure that it's fully up to date, just in case, which it is. Alright, so I'm just going to wait for this to complete. It looks like it's just doing... Oh, no. No, alright, I'm going to stop this. It uh, doesn't need to be run. So... Let's take a look at the task manager once that finishes. All right, so I'm going to close everything down and just have just the uh, Avira running in the background. And it looks like we have three so far. I'm going to bring it up full screen here. Uh, so three major processes, and that's it. Uh, total megabytes usage uh, sitting idle is around, I guess, 21, 22 megabytes. So 22 to 23 megabytes sitting idle. If I open up the application, um, certainly the uh, the center increases. Uh, I'm not too sure what it's looking at right now doing, but it is definitely eating up a lot of CPU time. All I did was just double click the application. I didn't ask it to do anything, it's just opening, and it ate a whole bunch of CPU time. Don't like that, uh, that will slow down the computer. Every time you try to double click it, it'll just eat up all your CPU. Granted, this is just a single core, but, you know, the whole idea is that, you know, it's not going to go crazy on my system's resources. So, with the configuration panel open, it, it is eating up quite a bit more, as they usually do. Uh, Komodo, I think, with the panel open might eat up maybe 15 at most so all right so i've got uh i've got a vira open right now and uh, i believe komodo i've got it on another screen here i'm just going to switch over to that and it's all default settings as well for komodo so in the background i'm going to do the komodo update i'm going to actually attack the uh attack the uh antivir so let's do that right now so I'm going to go to Malware Domain List, and I'm just going to go through them one at a time here. Uh, and we'll see what uh, what's out there. 
All right, so as you can see, they're all brand new. Uh, I'm just going to look. All right, so let's start with this one. And go from there. All right, so we'll run this, see if it runs. It should look like it did, actually. Not too sure what it did, but I'm going to keep going. So let's actually look over at Komodo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to resume it once Komodo finishes updating. All right, so we're just finishing up the... Uh, Komodo free update. Um, again, the only reason why I'm installing this is to show um, if Antiver uh, is actually a decent product. And again, I like to show uh, comparisons because uh, if you're just testing an antivirus by itself, it could be the test could be flawed because you're testing different viruses on different machines on different dates. Um, you can't compare that. Um, if you put two antiviruses against the same test on the same date with exactly the same setup, um, it shows which one's better. And uh, right now, for free antiviruses, Komodo's untouchable. I, d I don't think uh, Antivir is going to come very close to it. I've already put the first virus into the uh, Antivir, um, but uh, I'm still uh, waiting for this to fully update. I just want to do one more update here and just make sure that it's completely update. And be sure, yep, so uh, I'm going to do the exact same one as what was in the other one, in this one here. Again, standard setup, no changes to the setup at all, um, just the standard setup. And I want to go in there and just do the exact same thing in in the Komodo, see what Komodo finds in the, in the same aspect. So I'm going to run that, this is the exact same one. So it pops up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to estimate that between Antivir and this, I'm going to clean everything that they pop up. If they ask me, I'm going to clean them. All right, so let's do that one. All right, we'll go to the next one. See if this one's any good. Which it's not. Sometimes what happens if it doesn't read on... It'll read on the first time that you download it, but not the second time that you download it. So I got to be cautious of that too. So that's not going to work. Uh, so here's one. All right. So let's see what it does against this one. All right. Run. It's a big one. Run that. And. Seems it's running there. All right, I'll try uh, Komodo, see what Komodo does. See if it changes anything here. Run that. Yeah, it looks like Komodo got the same thing. So for free, looks like Komodo didn't stop it. All right, so let's try, whoop, something happened here. All right, Komodo's uh, running in the sandbox, so that basically stopped that virus. Uh, sandbox stopped it. All right. So, I'm going to go to the next one. Not too sure if it's the same virus or not, but we'll give it a shot. So, uh, the sandbox in Komodo is basically just a, a program that makes the pr any software that's being run uh, run in like a safe environment. So usually whenever things running in the uh, sandbox, it generally means that if I do one reboot, it'll stop it from running in memory and it wouldn't have affected the system. But we're testing it. I'm going to put everything to the test against. Um, all right, so there's one there. So defense plus, uh, I'm going to block, which stops it. All right, so that one didn't get.